Alright, fuckers, welcome back. Sort of Scotland TV bringing you another Scottish European football and tie preview. This time it is Celtic versus Linfield. Now, the last, the first leg was only five days ago. It was at Windsor Park in Northern Ireland, and Celtic came out victors in that match. Two goals to nil. But I thought it was a bit surprising that I thought Celtic would do a number on Linfield. Even at Linfield's ground, I did expect Celtic to win, you know, by at least three, but I was thinking more, like four or five now. So, I mean, Linfield did impress me. Celtic's two goals came early, rather early on. I think it was the 17th and 21st minute with Sinclair and Tom Rogic. And then, I think, I don't know, conceding two goals early on, I think I just expected Linfield to crumble. But, you know what, fair play to uh, the Blues. They did all right. They, they hung on and they managed to grind out, you know, a 2-0 loss. A two, <laughs> grind out a 2-0 loss. Does seem pretty shit, but when you're expected to get tanked before the match, a 2-0 draw is no bad. There was also some controversy in the last match between Lee Griffiths and a set of the away fans, so it'll be interesting to see how things pan out tonight at Celtic Park and if there'll be any uh, of the Linfield fans making the trip. As for my predictions tonight, I do expect a much bigger win for Celtic than uh, the scoreline in the first leg. Albeit, they're in front. Linfield are the team that have to come out and... Uh, You'd feel they have to, the other team have to come out and push the attack, but I don't think they'll do that. I think they'll more or less just go with the same tactic they went in the first leg. It all meant behind the ball and hope for the best, but I will be truly shocked tonight if Celtic don't get at least four. I, I'm going to go, I think, I don't know, the scoreline prediction, I think I'm going to go 6-0. I'm going to go 6-0 Celtic, and I think Celtic will obviously advance into the next round. I mean, Linfield were very lucky to get past the first leg the first qualifying round against that team for San Marino, so I don't think Celtic will have any uh, issues tonight. Uh, Lee Griffiths, will he have to tone his actions to a wee bit? I thought it was harsh, he got booked for uh, getting a bottle thrown at him, but you know, apparently he was... He made a 6-0 gesture as in six league titles in a row, and I mean, I think that's just banter, you know what I mean? But I suppose if you, if you, you, if you do that kind of thing, I guess you, you run the risk of some fucking moron, you know, in the, in the crowd, like chunking bottles at you, but... No, I totally don't agree that he um, agitated the fans or, you know, like, uh, provoked them in any way to throw a bottle at them. No, I mean, I'm sure fans give footballers dogs abuse and call them this and that. So you're trying to tell me the footballer can't retaliate or something? I mean, it was a, um, like a stupid, like, 6 no hand gesture. And I don't know, but I got told that's not the actual reason. Apparently, he wrapped a Celtic flagger in the Linfield goalpost, which... You know, I, I can see why it would annoy people, but I still don't think it justifies, you know, flinging a bottle, a bucky, at someone's head, you know what I mean? It's the way I was brought up, I don't think, I don't think throwing a bottle or bucket at someone's head is alright just because they wrapped with a bloody green and white flag around your goalpost. But anyway, I'm going to go for 6-0 Celtic tonight. I don't know who will get the goals, probably a mixture of Sinclair, Lee Griffiths, I don't know. I think Dembele's still injured, so he won't be playing. Will Linfield score? I doubt it. It didn't really create any chances in the first leg, so I'd see, see it being pretty similar here, creating no chances. But at least we're going to get one Scottish team into the next round of Europe, and then uh, we're relying on Aberdeen tomorrow when they take on Soroki. Hopefully we'll have two teams still in Europe by this weekend. But anyway, guys, that is my uh, match preview. I mean, I, I would like to go a bit more in-depth, but there's not a lot I can tell you. I mean, I don't really know what's happening with the squads at the moment. So uh, it's pretty quiet. It's not really a big game. It is what it is. I'm going to go 6-0 Celtic. Until next time. Peace.